Can you guys hear me now? Hello, hello. Huh, so this microphone doesn't work. All right, cool. Uh, welcome, everybody. Uh, I've been sick last week. I feel much better now. Thanks for asking. <clears throat> uh, welcome to Project Apex Training. Um, I think I'm recording this. Very good. How you guys been? It's been like two weeks. You see, Mike got a sale. That's awesome. I love seeing you guys talk and participate. It's all about engagement, you know, and getting better on the video, you know. And that's how you make more sales. If that's what you want. So I, I posted something on Facebook. I've been testing this for like a week already. Um, new traffic source. So a lot cheaper uh, leads. Like I'm getting like leads like around a dollar. So who wants to know how? <laughs> you know, let me know in the chat. Because uh, traditionally, like with solo ads, with email traffic, Facebook ads, uh, they're like around three bucks, two fifty maybe, you know, per lead. So it's all about the lead cost. If you can squeeze in more leads from your advertising, you can get more sales, obviously. And you, first of all, you're building the list faster, a bigger list, more engagement, more clicks more raving fans, you know. So welcome everybody, welcome Lance, Joyce, Michael, Mike, Kelvin, Charles, uh, Belinda, Rex, Anthony. Uh, so we need to bring more people here. So Mike, uh, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Since you typed in the chat, you got a sale. How does that feel to make a sale online? <laughs> or you can type in the chat, I can unmute you. Hold on, let me unmute you, hold on. Mike, can you speak? Why am I not hearing you guys? This is so weird. Again, you don't have to be tech savvy <laughs> to make money online and be internet marketer. Um, I've been doing this for 10 years and sometimes I just don't know how the sound works. <laughs> Oh man. Let me unmute Lance. Maybe it's Mike. Lance, can you speak? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, I know why. Oh, can you hear me? Genius. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Hey Mike, can 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 I can you speak now? Can you speak now? Watch watch this. Yeah. I'm gonna call him. Mike, lift your freaking head up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, we'll get back to you. Uh, but anyways, um, glad my sound is working. So let me touch this microphone. This is driving me crazy now. One second. Mike, we're trying to talk to you. We want you to tell us about yourself. Mike, Mike, can you hear me? This is Lance. We want you to talk to us. Look up. We're we're talking. Look up and talk to us on the screen, and tell us, and tell us all. Uh, I can hear you on the phone. Can you hear him, Alex? Yet? No, we can't hear you over the Zoom. We can't hear you over the Zoom, but. Talk over the Zoom and let us know all about that sale. I'm gonna let you go by.
hey, Facebook, Mike, I just want to say I accidentally sent a ton of requests to, to everyone, to a ton of people, and I apologize. My bad. Maybe my Facebook might be not for you, maybe. You know, so it is what it is, man. So just want to let you know. I sent tons of requests. My bad. So if you get my, if you confirm my request, that might be not for you, man, because that might be not for your ears. All right, you guys should be able to hear me now. I don't know what's going on with this microphone. This Yeti microphone failed me. And I know why. It's on mute. <laughs> you know how many times it happens? Like you, you grab the microphone, you press the button, mute. So there you go. You don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed to make money online. All right, let, just let me know if you can hear me with the microphone. Okay, cool, because I think it sounds better. Anyways, uh, so what I was going to show you, uh, Funnel X, some of the new people, you guys need to set up income streams because if you don't, you're going to miss out on a lot of commissions. So this is a Funnel X ROI panel, the tracking solution. Uh, almost eight, over $8,000. Uh, again, showing this not to brag, but to show you the power of the system that it's working. And still wanna hear from Mike about his results, his first sale. That's always awesome to hear like the first sale when you guys get. Um, so that's 43 grand, 43,000. Uh, Final X Advance, uh, $4,000. They pay once a month uh, 20, on the 27, I believe. That's when David Deckel pay, pays it. Um, the, we also got, uh, what else we got? We got uh, the travel deal, which is, how much they pay me so far? Let's see, reports, payouts to me. Oh, so there's like $2,200 spending. That's cool. I didn't know. And this is how much they paid so far. So this is the power of the system, guys. Like by driving traffic, like it promotes for you five income streams. You don't have to sell them individually. It's very hard to promote multiple deals, especially if you are part-time. I started 10 years ago. I was like, oh, let me add this one. Let me add this income stream. Let me add this program, this MLM, this network marketing company, you know. You go nuts because you only have like two hours in a day. You come home exhausted from work, right? Can you relate to that? And this is like why it's so hard to promote multiple income streams, especially if you're part-time. Unless you have a, you know, ecosystem that promotes everything for you simultaneously. This is why it's very important, especially for new people and some people that haven't done this. And I know some people that Procrastinate uh, Funnel X setup, the welcome. You need to go through those steps. I'm gonna beat this around the bush until you guys do this. Like you gotta, you gotta do this. Go through all those steps. Right, Lance? You gotta finish all the steps. And then, after you do that, then you need to start driving traffic so you can start building your list 
sending emails. I send emails twice a day in the morning, and then I send to unopeners. Uh, I also send emails from where? Is it one up mailer, right? So you go email, right? You log in. And then you click on email and you click on unpaid and you mail them, right? You mail them uh, those links. David Dackel's emails, that's all I do, man. All right. Simple enough, right? Daily income of daily method of operation. More emails, more sales. Don't take days off. Like when I'm sick, I'm still sending emails. It's like, it's like brushing the teeth, you know what I mean? All right, so check this out. I want to share this something with you. New traffic source. You guys are going to get excited about it. So uh, share my screen from the iPad. Hmm, I can do virtual background here. Huh. All right, share content. So check out the numbers. So normally if I do like Igor solo ads or um, like banner traffic, you guys know that other traffic source I'm using. Um, so if it's email traffic, solos, it goes to your Aweber, right? And the lead cost is approximately, I would say anywhere from, for me personally, anywhere from like 225 to like three bucks a lead, right? Now, with this new traffic source, I just calculated the numbers I posted on Facebook. Uh, I sent over the last week 2,500, some, something like 2,500 clicks. Actually, let me double check my numbers. 2,566 clicks, which would have cost me, with Zigger, for example, like 2,000. 500, 600, sometimes it's a dollar 10, right? Dollar 25 per click. So it would cost me at least $2,500. So check this out. With this traffic source, I spent a total over the week, 280 bucks for 2,556 clicks. That's crazy, right? That's like 10 cents a click, something give or take about 10 cents a lead 10 cent leads man i mean clicks now i got about 300 three, 300 plus leads so what's my lead cost well it's less than a dollar actually so it costed me it costed me let's see with my calculator 280 bucks divided by 300 93 cents a click. I, I'm sorry, a lead. 93 cents. That's crazy, right? Now, I'm building my list, right? So it's, I got a couple of sales up front, but I know I'm going to get like 80% of my conversions will happen with the follow-ups, with the emails. So I think ROI is going to be really good. Don't you think? If you if I'm spending, if I'm spending like instead of a dollar, I'm spending like ten cents a, a click. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So that's why you guys need yeah, opt-in rate is is a lot lower, but dude, it comes down to ninety three cents a lead. I think Arthur just has that. Very good observation. Now and I'll be testing more capture pages, right? I only tested like a few. So I'm sure I can, so right now it's about 10% conversion rate. And I'm gonna work on getting that to at least 20%, which I'm sure I can do. 
So if I do 20% opt-in rate, that would be, that would slash my cost of the leads in half. That would be like, instead of 93 cents, would be something like 50, 60 cents a lead, which is nuts. So who wants to hear about this traffic source? I think you guys can still use it. It's always this in marketing, this saturation, right? But I think it's uh, with this source, I, I honestly don't know how much capacity they have. What I'm doing is I'm sending 5,000 um, uh, text messages a day and all those, uh, all those uh, numbers are opt-ins. So I'm using their server. I'm not using like, like a setup. Like sometimes people use like, they get like a phone, like a T-Mobile phone or something like that. And they do a setup. No, I'm not doing that. So this is server based. It's 24 seven. Well, you don't want to send uh, text messages obviously after 9 PM. So we're allowed to send messages from 9 AM in the morning till 9 PM during normal business hours. And, um, uh, People can opt out by click uh, by replying stop, so it's compliant uh, with regulations. Obviously, we don't want to, you know, use non-compliant methods. So they can always opt out, uh, but those people opted in, and they're fresh. They're like there's not like stale leads you can buy online, like 90 days old or like a year old that they might be not even in the market anymore, right? Looking for business opportunity. Uh, these, these are seven to 14 days old. So really fresh uh, opt-ins. And uh, you know what I'm doing? I'm optimizing my funnel right now. And you guys, like if you guys start using this, I'll, I'll send you my swipes. I'll send you what's working for me. Because I sound up like I document everything, so let's see. I'll show you guys. I sent okay. I sent uh, my first trial. I mean, my first blast I did was I think it was February six. I got like thirty one clicks. But that was only from like 200 messages. Then I'm like, let me upgrade to uh, 2,000 and then upgrade it to 5,000. So 5,000 is the maximum. Uh, you can send 5,000 messages a day. Uh, and I think it's like 10 bucks a day, basically. Plus uh, the credits are one penny each. Like you guys know I use like SandHop service and I've been using them since like, God, over five years now, and they charge me over two cents a text message. Like the text messages I sent you to invite to the Zoom training for tonight, I'm using SendHub. It cost me two cents, um, and sometimes if the message is too long, more than 160 characters, I'm paying uh, for two or three messages. So it cost me like four or six cents. With this service, it's only a penny, right? It's basically like it's zero zero nine five. So it's a little bit less than a penny. So that's what it cost me, guys. So I'm sharing this with you. But please do not share this outside with too many people because I don't know how much capacity they have. So, and I don't want to saturate the marketplace. Anyways, so that's, that's me. What's going on with you guys? Lance, let me unmute you, man. Did you get some snow? We got some snow in New York. We got two inches. We just got one inch and then it went away. It rained and melted it. Uh, uh, it's been pretty, it's kind of been kind of slow. I haven't ran, I only ran, ran one trap for me. I've only ran one uh, thing of traffic. So I had pretty good opt-in rate, kept building the list, stayed consistent with that. And, uh, but did have an increase last week. It was about right around approximately an extra 500 that came in through somebody going through that, those steps. And then take, and then I took the time with a couple of members to help them understand how to set it up. I think, I do think that some people get stuck a little bit on when they're going through the steps to set it up. So, and so if there's anybody listening, you ever run into that problem, just gotta let, I, I have no problem 
taking you through and showing you and setting it up because uh, I've done that for a few now. And once they get, once they saw what to do, it started clicking. They go, oh yeah, I got it now. Now it's time for you know me to move out and get that traffic rolling. So that's the key. So get everything set up and then focus on the traffic piece and keep that traffic flowing into the main funnel. And so, uh, so they're very thankful and, and I, I really uh, enjoy doing it because you're helping other people to become successful. And stuff. Absolutely, Lance, like you, you're a sovereign driven leader, you know, uh, I'm happy that you're doing that, you know, not everyone is willing to do that, you know, uh, most people are busy and you know, you're taking your time out of your day and you're doing this at no cost, which something down the line, down the line, like this, David Deckel charges $200 uh, for, I think for half an hour setup. No, I, but for me, I don't, it doesn't matter because I'm gaining results and growing results. For me, that really doesn't matter. For some people, it may be at one position, or, but I would never, I really don't care about that. I care about other people getting into it because there's so many out here that have been just like ourselves at one time, struggling, keep trying, never getting anywhere, can't get it off the ground and actually produce results like they'd like to have and, and create that better life. So for me, it's all about how do you help all these others to get themselves rolling and, and really start creating that life. So I, I don't ever see myself uh, saying, oh, well, you know, my time's so valuable. It team's so large, and that's why you do webinars. The team gets so large that you have to do it in a, in a larger group setting in a single, you know, Zoom, you know. But but why did you pass your sickness off to me? That's what I want to know, because now I'm... Oh, you got sick? Yeah, no, I am now. <laughs> oh, man. It sucks. I don't feel good. <laughs> Dude, I, I was like, like, yeah, I mean, it's not fun to be sick, like... Like, well, first of all, kudos to you for doing that. Uh, you know, that builds you as a leader as well, you know what I mean? But so to a certain point, you get to a point where you get 20 people requesting your time and you just can't do it. You have to do it in a Zoom meeting, um, answer, because questions are always the same. You know, honestly, if people only follow directions slowly without being interrupted, they can follow those directions it's step by step. You, you watch the video, you pause the video, you do click, 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 you unpause the video, you, you watch it again if you need to, right? So it's 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 uh, I think it's a focus issue because we live in a society where we're getting distracted constantly. And uh, my advice to you guys: if you're working on one project, don't get distracted. Like I turn off my phone, I put my phone upside down so I don't get any notifications when I'm like in a zone. Like usually, 45 minutes is my maximum amount of time I can be focused on one task before I get sidetracked and distracted. And I think most people are like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like I cannot be like, you cannot do something for like two hours being before you get distracted with something else. You know what I mean? So it's always best to turn off Facebook because it's always distracting you and uh, all the notifications, just try to turn off most of your notifications on the phone off. Right. Uh, because I like my phone is like on a constant notification <laughs> programming. You know what I mean? Like it's nonstop. Uh, I was gonna say something else, guys. Um, focus your business. Like treat your business as a business, right? Like always dedicate time to your business. Like, like Arthur. Like the moment you started dedicating time to your business like you really started treating your business as a business because it's like we all start this as like as a hobby like oh maybe it's gonna work maybe i don't have to do much like we're all lazy right but then you realize well it's a profession like if you want to become good in creating this residual income streams right you need to focus right you need to laser focus on certain traffic strategies and how do you follow up with the leads how do you convert those leads every single day and then you add additional stuff, right? You start, you know, making videos and uh, creating content and posting that on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, and so on and so forth. But overall, it's not a rocket science. It's probably the easiest business you can run from home uh, compared to anything else out there. Uh, but yeah. So Arthur, like, I'm, I'm kind of curious, like how long did it take you to really grasp those basic concepts 
and really started applying them on a regular consistent basis and you started getting consistent results. I'm just curious, man. So you want to share that with other people? Because I, hold on, you unmuted. He's got to un be unmuted. Yeah. All right, there yeah. I am. Yeah. Um, you know, starting, starting out, <clears throat> to be honest with you, it took me about a year because I've only been doing, I've been doing this about two years. So it took me about a year of, of trying to do it, uh, not, trying, not trying to do it my way, right? Because I figured maybe if I tried to do it my way that it would work faster. But once you just stop and just listen and see and do basically what everybody else is doing, but put your own little spin on it, um, you start to see results. And then another thing is I see a lot of people doing is they try to do Facebook, Instagram, um, you know, this traffic source, that traffic source. They try to do it all at once and they get overwhelmed and nothing gets done. So I, I think it's very important to, you know, stay in your lane, uh, so to speak. Um, basically, if you don't have, if you haven't been doing this, you know, five, ten 15 years and, and you're not seasoned in every single aspect of, of marketing and, and running a business, you can't expect results from jumping in and out of programs and jumping in and out of um, different uh, media outlets to go ahead and get results. And that's just the, that's just the truth that I'm learning. It's, it took me about a, a year and a year and a couple months. But once I started, you know, applying the principles and strategies, I started getting results and not necessarily monetary results. Obviously at the end of the day, that's what we all want, but learning how to build a list, learning how to interact with the list, learning how, um, you know, to do little things to that, that will ultimately get you those monetary, monetarily results. Am I saying that right? Monetary results. Yes, yeah, you got it. So, um, yeah, first, when you start doing that, you see, this is what I told you, like, probably two years ago, you're going to see there's going to be invisible stuff that's going to be happening that you're not necessarily seeing yet, but it's happening, right? As you're building your list, as you consistently posting, like, even like motivational stuff on Facebook and quotes, people are watching, they're not liking or commenting right away but it all builds up. It's your building up your momentum. So it's invisible stuff that most people don't see. Right. And I think it was you um, that told me uh, one of the first, our first interactions, I believe it was in Hawaii. You told me do not get attached to the, to yeah. the outcome. Don't have any kind of emotional stance with the, don't get emotional. Yes. Yeah. And once you realize that, that this is business, it's it's because well, because when you start and you let's say you run a campaign and you run you know let's say 500 clicks and you don't get any sales if you start becoming emotional it'll stop you from going forward but if you just take it and learn from it you and and not get emotional um it it kind of still builds your confidence if if that makes sense absolutely yeah 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 uh, uh, yeah that's a good topic that you brought up because Emotional, you got to control your emotional state. Uh, it's a business. So yeah, one day you, will, you wake up, you get uh, hate mail, people curse you out for whatever reason. Maybe they're just having a bad day. They're not necessarily cursing every single day like Gary Vee, for example, maybe. But they're just having a bad day. So you just call them at a bad time with your email and that's okay. You just ignore it. You can just unsubscribe them, you know, and forget about it. So don't get emotional about it. People are people, you know. Uh, but as long as you're staying consistent and you, you know, communicating with your list every single day, you're going to see traction in your business eventually. It's going to start, uh, you know, slowly but surely, and it's going to start snowballing basically as you build bigger and bigger lists. But don't get emotional. Stay consistent, which I'm gonna, I was going to write next. Consistency is the key, right? Consistency breaks the cycle of poverty and uh, resistance when you're doing stuff and you're not seeing results. So stay, stay consistent. So I got a saying that I came up with. Am I still, can you hear me? 
Yeah, you're good, man. Patience with persistence leads to prosperity. Something yeah. To pick up later. So take some patience going through the learning thing, getting the ropes, learning the ropes, getting it down, but you got to be very consistent and persistent, stick to it, and, and it will bring you to a greater level of prosperity and results. Absolutely. Persistence, daily, daily action. It's perfect in action every single day. So, Joyce, right. Joyce, don't you want to? Don't you have anything to say? You want to get some of the, get Joyce or Rex? Is anybody around here? Somebody's got to talk. We got to hear from you. Yeah, nope. yeah. Joyce, speak up. It's not working. Hold on, I got to stop sharing the screen. I think I can't find her. <laughs> we want to hear. Go, go. No. <laughs> Joyce, you. Oh, You're muted. Okay. Off mute. Okay. Well, I'm I'm still struggling. I I'm buying um, solo from Igor, but I'm still waiting to see what happens. I bought. Cho choose choose your words wisely. I'm gonna interrupt you. Don't say you're struggling. You're breaking through. That's that's the process. You're breaking through. Oh, okay. Don't say you're struggling because the words have power. If you say you're struggling, yeah. All you're gonna do is gonna attract more struggle to your to your life and business. Just say you're on course, you're on course of breaking through. Okay. And, um, and I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how much, like you said, buy it hundreds or $200 worth. I've been spending now two and 300, but um, I have to figure out how you send emails. I think I figured it out today. You go into easy one up and hit the email and click it. I just saw yeah. that today, so I'll start doing that tomorrow. Very good, yeah, twice a day. Like I usually send once in the morning, once at night, and they're all the same swipes, I'll show you. Like this is, like I'll show you right now, so it's good. so you're gonna see, okay. like, I, I think I did it a couple of weeks ago for you guys, if you watch the replay, but I'll do it again. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me um, stop sharing my iPad. And that's the only place to go is easy one up? To send emails? No, Aweber, this is where you build your list. So you send broadcasts from your Aweber autoresponder. But Easy One Up is additional way for you to communicate as well. So instead of like one email a day, you can send two or three emails a day. So the more emails you send, the more sales you're going to get. You know, like Igor, for example, who owns Solo 8 Agency, right? Igor Solo Ads. Mm -hmm. uh, he sends, man. Sometimes he sends like four or five emails a day. Yep. Yeah. How does he do that? Well, he has multiple autoresponders. He also sends from uh, Dennis sends on his behalf. Dennis Ray. Right, right, right. So, so he has multiple kind of personalities, which you can do as well once you build a list. Like once you build a list over 5,000 subscribers, right. then you can get a little bit more fans here. But until you get there, just use your name. You know, so people know, recognize your name. Oh, it's Joyce again. Okay, what's going on? And she's sharing a story about, let's say, I mean, there's so many testimonials in Final X. Like if you go to the Facebook group, you can copy and paste uh, people's results, right? You always use other people's results until you create your results, right? Once you start getting your results, you put a spotlight on your results. Hey, look, I remember I showed you results of Alex or Lance or... Scott from last week. Well, check this out. Just got my first hundred dollar commission here. You know, this is what I use. This is the system. Go click the link, follow the, the system and you're going to get results as well. So that, that's the basic learn, do, teach formula. So we learn, mm -hmm. we apply by doing, and then we start teaching people how to do it. So it's simple three step process. A lot of people overcomplicate it. But if you take all the technical stuff away, in the end of the day, that's what we do. Learn, do, teach. We're basically just sharing what's working for us, right? If the system wasn't working, first of all, I wouldn't be here. I would not be, you know, showing you my results, right? Right. So I always show you guys systems that work, you know, for you don't have to be a guru. You don't have to be a, 
uh, Gurat. <laughs> Some people, say, I heard somebody say Gurat. Um, I share, can I share one part? So yeah, absolutely, man. So A Weber, if you can broadcast from A Weber, so those easy one up leads will also be on that funnel X list you created with the. So uh, choose. You have one ad copy. That you're going to shoot out A Weber. Over on e Easy One Up, choose something, a separate ad copy to try to increase them to click on it and open it instead of the same thing because they would have already seen it from the AWeber list. You know, right. They came in that way, and but yet they're on they're in the Easy One Up uh, space too. So nice. okay, yeah, just an idea, you know, to get kind of increase the click rate and open rate. So okay. Yeah, I'll show you right now. So let me share my screen. This is how I mail from Easy One Up, and then I'll show you a web as well. Mike, we tried to unmute you, and you didn't talk. <laughs> he doesn't, still doesn't hear us. Well, if Mike fixes his uh, microphone, then we'll unmute him again, so we can hear his story as well. All right. So basically, this is what we do, man. Joyce, this is what we do. Uh, I do this every morning. You guys can see my screen, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you go email, and you can email by levels as well. You can mail. Honestly, you can mail like six times a day. You probably don't want to do it because most people, most emails are gonna start going to spam. So there's a fine balance of emailing as well. So I usually do twice a day. So I'll do like elevation elite, maybe vertex level unpaid. Uh, and a bunch of swipes I got from um, from uh, David Dackel. So I just copy and paste them, you know. And also I do a follow-up, I text message as well. I use SoundCloud to text message people as well. So like, for example, this, this subject line, I think it worked, it got me a couple of sales back in October. <laughs> so I would just copy literally like, like this. Maybe I'll take shut up out. Maybe I'll put, you know, sometimes dollar signs will cause emails to go to spam. So I'll take the dollar sign out. I would say ten nine eleven thousand dollars $11,000 in less than three weeks, question mark. So it's good to change subject lines and modify the copy a little bit. And you see how like, basically it's David's results, but I'm adding my relationship to him as well by adding my Facebook profile in the PS uh, section of the oh, email. Good idea. Yeah, so that way you're kind of closing the bridge because it's like, because you met mailing from Joyce and they're like, who the hell is David Deckel? Well, new people that came from traffic, they would know because they just saw his sales video or some other video. But after a while, people forget, right? So, and take all those extra spaces out. I don't know why it's doing that every single time, but it's okay. It takes a few seconds. Now, the shortener I'm using is Bitly sometimes goes to spam. So the one I use is, I use Click Magic, or you can use ROI Panel, right? You can use ROI panel. So this link, if I expand this link, should be uh, my long funnel X ROI with my DDID, which is my username, right? So that's his results from the gym, whatever. I will take that link. I would go to funnel uh, to ROI panel. I would go to move this out. I would create a new link, right? Copy and paste, 12,900 Dave's results, whatever, just for my reference. That's my link. So you, in your case, it would be your uh, username instead of mine. Right. Right. Total cost zero because I'm sending this to my list, to my unpaid members. Uh, you can ask, you can add tracking, like I would say Tuesday, no, February 12th, 10 p.m. 
believe it or not, people check emails at night as well. Sometimes I get a sale like three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. You never know. People work night shifts too, you know? Yeah. So that's it. Save changes. Okay. And where's my link? Um, Go to manage links. Manage links. And I'll take that link. Go back to my uh, easy one up mailer and I would replace those links with the ROI one, ROI panel one. You know, the reason that ROI is so great is because it lets you see exactly where that traffic's coming from desktop, mobile device, any cells that are occurring as it mm -hmm. comes through. So it's a really cool tool once you learn about it. Yeah, very, very powerful tool. That's why you have it. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then you just mail, click on send email, and it's gonna start mailing. Takes about five minutes, and it's done. Just leave the window open, and then you you can do you can go to Aweb and schedule email for tomorrow. You know what I mean? Um, I have a bunch of lists, but you probably have just one funnel X list, right? Right. So I would just send like all the swipes I like I post for you guys. You can feel free to model them. People charge a lot of money for ad copy. You guys have a lot of emails you can copy until you develop the skill of copywriting and you can just write emails on your own. Like I could never write essays in school, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't my forte, you know? But, uh, go to files. I just posted like a bunch of swipes for you guys. More some swipes a couple of days ago here. And like different angles, like nine to five prison break, like angle of people hating jobs, you know? Yeah, that was a year ago for me. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, look at the subject lines. It doesn't matter what the offer is. Like, like right. they're all generic. Just put your link in there. Okay. You know, important, dangerous kill in your area. So this is like curiosity driven subject line. I would open that email. So this, then you go to your Aweber and just uh, create your email, right? Great. I like HTML editor. I'm old school, but don't worry. You don't need to know the HTML code. You just type email. It's just called HTML because there is a way to get to HTML, but you don't need to. So then I'm just putting subject line, dangerous kill in your area. <laughs> <laughs> It gets people attention. Yeah, it's just something like different, you know, like instead of like, hey, make $300 a day, make $200 a day. No, dangerous killer in your area. Well, I'm going to open that email because I want to see what it is to know. If, well, or this one, killer claiming lives in your neighborhood. That's a cool one. We, no, we got this app that runs. It's called Na Neighborhood Something, and it's all connected with the local neighborhoods. So oh, yeah, next neighborhood. Next neighborhood. There you go. I get it all the time. It lets us know if there's something bad going on or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So look, Joyce, this is what you do. Look, pay attention. So, oh, see, you need to reformat. So, so sometimes this happens, and that's okay. Uh, there is a formatting tool that will save you some time, uh, but it's not a long email, okay? <laughs> but what you can do is this. Um, Hold on, email formatting tool. I forget which one I used all the time. Formatted, yeah, that's the one. Formatted.com. Formatit.com. So copy and paste. Let's see, see if it looks like or So I'm gonna do new paragraph de detection. Let's see if this works. Submit. Yeah, so it looks beautiful now. So I just copy and paste that back into Aweber, get rid of this garbage. Boom, looks nice now. So the link was formatted.com. You just gotta hyperlink it again. Yeah, you just have to hyperlink everything. So then I'm gonna go to ROI panel, for example, it's the same link. But for Aweber, I would put a different tracker. You know, I would use something like, I think you can just copy and paste that and change the link. I mean the tracking link. So I would just uh, let me see where the links were somewhere. 
So it's like introduction, then call to action. Click here to reclaim your power, health, and sanity. You can thank me for this later. So this is the call to action. You click on that paper clip, right? Mm -hmm. And in this case, I'm gonna say, this is my Aweber. So I'm signing this from Aweber, but I'm gonna schedule this for tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is this. Um, first of all, it's a good idea to test your emails, be, uh, your links before you send them. So I'm gonna test it to make sure it actually takes me to the place I want them to go to. So it's not a broken link. I wanna make sure my ID is there, 36027, right? It's all good. And I put a tracking code AW, so I know I'm sending this from my Aweber on February 12th at 10 p.m., okay? Which I probably should change to tomorrow, which is February 13th. But it's okay. We can change it. I'll just say February 13th. This is for your record, so just you know where the sale is coming from. So then you can go back and see, aha, uh -huh, that email, the prison break email, is the, or the whatever, the, the killer on the loose in the neighborhood is the one that produces sales. So then you can do, do it every month. A lot of times you'll see, like I'm sending the same emails. Why? Because pe different people opening different emails at different times. You know what I mean? So, it, it's, so that's why it's like same commercials on TV, you know, different times, yeah. right? Because different people watch different stuff at different times. So, anyway, so that's my link. Boom, it's done. And also here as well. Uh, and I'll add another link because, like the like the more links you add, the more clicks you're gonna oh, yeah. get. Mm -hmm. So I will do something like this. I would say your friend or your mentor, Alex Z. In your case, you will put your name, obviously, and I'll do PS, post it, by the way. By the way, I'm trying to like, what is this email about? Killer on the loose. By the way, this will change your life if you allow it, allow it to do so. So go here now or else, <laughs> something like that. Just, just be creative, you know, it's okay. Just be conversational with, peer, with people, you know. So yeah, so you can hyperlink this as well. That's another call to action for them, you know. And obviously you can put another PPS if you want. Still skeptical. Why not send me a message on Facebook? Right, and then you hyperlink. Message. And people are like skeptical, whoa, this lady is on Facebook, so she's real. Then you go to your Facebook, yeah. take the URL of your profile, mm -hmm. they can friend you on Facebook and ask you questions. All right, Facebook. That's my link. So yeah. then you can hyperlink this, message me on Facebook. That's a call to action. It's always telling people what to do next, you know, giving them multiple ways to communicate with you. So that way you're gonna get more conversions. Most people never do this. Most people are lazy. They just copy and paste whatever the system gives them emails. They never really think outside of the box, like, well, why not? Like, what would make you open email? Well, maybe dangerous killing in, in your area, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's lots of single moms and they have kids and all that stuff. Like, well, that would get them to open email, right? Yeah. So there you go. Okay. So that's how you do it. And then you just schedule it. You just basically go and save and exit. And then you can schedule it for tomorrow. So that way when you wake up, you know automation works for you. You don't have to like... Think about it, it's already gonna go out. Best time to send in the morning from like eight to like 10 a.m. Eastern time, New York time. So, so I'm gonna schedule this. Uh, instead of immediately, I'm gonna say no, for tomorrow. I mean, Lance is really good at it. And like sometimes he would like schedule emails for the whole week or for the whole month. 
So, you that? yeah, you can schedule your life wow. for the whole year if you want. And it's that just, takes a little while, but the good yeah. thing is, is it frees up your time to do yeah. the other the other things you need to do. Right. You see my schedule? Like I'm sending two emails a day, like clockwork. I'm not just telling you guys to do something that I'm not doing, right? So I'm doing two emails a day, religiously, every single day, seven days a week. So, so this think outside the box on times to send, you brought up a really good point, eight, between 8 and 10 p.m. or a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So when you're sending out this stuff, have a consistent, steady time that you're going to do it at for you and not all over the place. So, right. so if you pick like 9 a.m., Stick to mm -hmm. nine. Okay. So I kind of, I kind of, I was overdoing it sometimes. I go on a rampant and I send too many, like Igor. But, but I, what I do now is I send something at nine. Then mm -hmm. I send something, and I'm trying to. And when I say think outside the box, I'm trying to think about the workforce that's just got into work about seven. They were having their cup of coffee. They're getting their stuff up and running, and then the people at home that are up and around taking the kids. You know, they've already dropped the kids off at school. Whatever. Yeah, and then I send something out about that lunch hour, about right about noon. And then mm -hmm. I send something, something out in the PM because of people are now home at about eight PM because I feel people have gotten home, they're settled, they maybe have ate dinner and they're about they're settling down. Nice. Just, you know, so but I'm I stay stick to those same times because your subscribers will get used to that, and the next thing you know they're they're expecting, they're looking for. Right. Right. And, and so, so that can also assist or help uh, improve some results. Okay, that's good advice. So, also, there are some other people on here: Kelvin, Charles, Ibrahim, Belinda. All of y'all, if you want to ask questions, perfect time. This is what this is all about. Uh, just type in the chat bar and let us let us know that you'd like to be unmuted. We, so we can answer any questions, get everybody straight, and make sure that you're doing right things. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to go grab the, that ad copy myself now from what <laughs> he put over there in the files. Right. <laughs> but okay. I will tell you that, oh, and that's the other thing. So a lot of times when you get if you felt like you got down, get down, you're not seeing, getting anywhere. Once your list gets to a certain little bit of a size, you're going to begin to get results, and then you're going, and it's going to, and that's going to create some excitement, and mo and that's going to push you because you say, oh my God, it's getting, it's just starting to roll. That then that momentum starts picking up, and so just keep focused on, you know, it's a primary business concept, building the list, building the list, you know, and stuff. So. And, and Igor, uh, also the other thing is the, if you're kind of get down on yourself, if you get, yeah, Mike, can you hear us? Mike, if you can hear us, we got to unmute you, but I want to look up and let us know you can hear us. Mike, look into the screen. Mike, thank you. Okay, you can hear us. We'll unmute you in a minute, Mike, so you can tell us about your story, your, yourself. Uh, but we couldn't hear you earlier, so we didn't, you know, so that's why also this Audible, when we talked about Audible with these good books, you know, whether it's Vaynerchuk or whoever you want to listen to uh, for develop that motivational lift in the morning and keep it going, it will help pull you out of the rut. Doing that every single day will help you keep yourself out of the rut, you know, because a lot of times things we get overwhelmed with the other things of the world right, exactly everyday stuff everyday and it's like yeah but that motivational push in the morning uh, really can take you a long way and it's better to do it in the morning not at night i normally listen I, to it at night i would do it in the morning because you're up and around unless you're at night you get up at night and you're up all night no no i, I would just start i get up very early and go to bed very late i get i do too <laughs> same, just, same here i am up very yeah, good. very hard. But the system kick, uh, I would do it in the morning, and you do it at the night too. Do it whenever you want. Okay. But, but the when you're up and around, get that body, mm -hmm. get that mindset rolling in the morning. Kick yeah. 
cup of coffee. Okay. Yeah, because I have the ebook. I listen to, you know, put the headset on, and just listen to it while I'm cleaning. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Mike, you unmute it. Uh, so, so if you want to test what I'm doing right now, guys, you guys want to do the t uh, SMS blast yeah. like I'm doing? So yeah. let, me show you, let me show you how I'm doing this. Um, so this is the platform. I got like 25 different numbers. <laughs> Because I've, I can, I can uh, blast 5,000 people a day. Mm -hmm. so, so basically, they give you all those numbers. Yeah. You don't pay separately for them. Uh, so I started with 200 credits a day. Uh, then I upgraded to 2,000, 5,000. I told you the cost is like basically 10 cents a lead. Super cheap. Uh, so if you want to test the water, start with 200. Maybe upgrade to 2,000 when you feel comfortable. But this is what I'm doing. I'm just doing a built-in SMS blaster. And obviously, I can only do it from 9 a.m. till 8 p.m. Eastern time. So I already did it today. So tomorrow, I'm going to do another one. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. It's self-explanatory. There's training inside. Very simple to use. Mm -hmm. um, what else? Uh, yeah, I'm going to buy SMS credits. They're like one cent. Basically, look, you see, I can blast 6,000 credits for like 57 bucks. You can start with 200. You can blast like for three days for like seven bucks. You know what I mean? Starting tomorrow. Read yeah. That link in there. No. <laughs> so, yeah, if you, if you want to, yeah, I mean, I mean, it just makes sense. It builds list. Like, mm -hmm. look, it builds my list. Right? You know, that's a, another really good point. You never know. It's just like any traffic method or source. You never know which traffic run is going to produce the greater results. So you can have one traffic run and you get really nothing. No sales, but you got 200 opt-ins out of 500 clicks or, or 300 or something, whatever you got, your whatever your rate is. But the next time you turn around and do that and you had like 10 sales. So that's why consistency is important. Another reason. Yeah, and uh, already people are, like asking me for this, so I'll, I I'm sharing this on my Facebook, so you guys can get it there uh, on my wall. I'm just gonna post the link there, so it's just gonna be easier. Okay. Um, I put it in the messenger. I believe. Let me do it from my phone. I think I did it on my messenger. Um. All right, let me go to my post. Uh, the, the link is uh, leadsbonus.com. So leads, plural. I just posted that on my wall under that uh, again. post. Uh, here. So if you go to my wall, there is a link. I'm just going to reply to everybody here. It's people bombarding me with private messages, so I'm just going to reply here. Here's the info. So when you get that, you need to get SMS, SMS Blaster, which is, uh, I think it's like $33, $33 a month. And that lets you blast uh, 200 people every single day. Uh, man, people are hungry for cheap leads, man. So my motto is use it while it's working because you never know. You know what I mean? It's working right now. I'm using it. And that's on your personal page, huh? not the team page, I guess. No, it's on my wall. Yeah, it's on my personal page. Yeah. Even Ankur asked for it. Here you go. Here you go. Ankur did? 
Yeah, you see this on the wall? <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta get that. Everybody's hungry for leads, I'm telling you. Like, Darren Little asked me for it, Anchor asked for it. So, so I'll put it in your chat as well here on, on Zoom as well. Uh, you can save the chat if you click on more, save chat so that way you have the link. But for those people that are watching replay, people that not showing it, showing up live, it's, what is it, leadsbonus.com? Yeah. Leadsbonus.com. Here you go. So www leadsbonus.com. Yeah, so so that's from from Tim Delaware. He was our seventh president and fought for free. You can watch you can watch it later. Um but um yeah, I mean what's cool about it, you don't need to buy leads because they give you those leads, like I said, like seven to fourteen days, you just buy credits and you blast. Now when you blast, use short messages and for the link use the shortener. Mm -hmm. Don't use bitly, because I think bitly is spammy uh, some carriers block it like Verizon blocks it um, so think about maybe ROI panel or click magic link or like best is probably domain you can get like info domain through GoDaddy like uh, whatever right you can go on GoDaddy like you guys know how to get domains right I have one yeah, so I have I'm like, a website. There you go. So like whenever you get new domains, like I, I like like if it's for like SMS blast, I would get like a cheap one. I would get like dot info, which is like dollar ninety nine. Mm. Uh so I would do like I have so many domains like that I can reuse. But hey, like if I need a new one, I just like I get like something catchy. Oh, you wanna Come up with cool domain names. Use name, uh, name mesh. What is it? Name mesh. Name. I'll look mesh. At. Check it out. Name mesh. Yeah, it's called name mesh. So, <coughs> but most domains are taken. So, uh, if I want something cool, I would say text to get paid or something. Let's see if that's available. Uh, text to get paid is available. Actually, you guys can snap it if you want. Uh, so if I go to GoDaddy, but it gives me like other ideas as well, right? Bunch of different ideas. Really cool site. If you like struggling with creativeness, go to Name Mesh. You'll come up with tons of ideas for your um, domain. So can I throw something at if if you're a Click Magic user? Uh, you can go in there to their help frequently asked questions type in there how to create your own custom domain with click magic and you can you already you already have a domain such as you can create that in there and then just put the thing on the end which also can kind of keep it short you know the actual domain for the forward slash and then whatever you name it that way if you that way it kind of saves well it saved me from buying multiple godaddy domains and, uh, and I'm only buying a few that I really wanted to do. Okay. It's just, you gotta go over there and somewhere in the frequently help, the help under the help thing and how to create a custom domain with click magic. <clears throat> yeah, those like ideas like text to success is taken, but you can try that info, which is like 299. Yeah, it's available, see? text to success or like SMS to get paid or something like that dot info dot <coughs> US domains are cheap too let's see 7.99 pretty good for three bucks for a year yeah super cheap you yeah. Yeah, so for something like this, like a throwaway domain, you can like blast it for like three, six months, then get another domain, you know. One in one, I think, gives you a domain for like a dollar for a year. 
Yeah, the na uh, name chips. Um, yeah, name chips sometimes has deals like you can get like ninety nine cent domains. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just giving you guys ideas to think outside of the box. You know. Okay. Um, what else? Yeah, it's always good to have extra domains, or you can use ROI panel or Click Magic. Uh, don't use Bitly. Don't use uh, Google Shortener because mm. I think it gets like flagged because everybody's using them. There's like millions of people using the same shortener, you know? Uh, but yeah, but that's about it. That's super simple to use. And uh, let me know your results. So why don't you start using that and uh, we'll see what you, what you get, you know, on next Tuesday. Sounds like a plan. Unless you guys want to share some traffic sources with me, I'm always want to test you know, you know, there's always something we need to test. Yeah. Let's see if Mike, if Mike can speak with us. Hold on. Mike, can you hear us? Can you speak? I can up? hear you. Okay, awesome. So, so what, what were your results? You, you got your first sale? Uh, I thought I did. I'm not sure. Uh, um, I have some sales on, on uh, the site uh, now lifestyle.com. Okay. I have a um, 150. I don't know if you tell you or not, but 150 dollars in sales, and and I've got about four, about 11 people under me on, on that site. Awesome! Yeah, yeah, I, that's awesome, man. That's uh, I be, I was building like the whole lag for you guys, um, so that one, you know, that's like binary. You know, you got you got two different uh, teams legs that you're building. Um, it works. It works. Everything works if you work it, as you see it, right? So make sure you get that GVO prepaid card so they can, I'm sorry, not GVO, pay, Pioneer card so they can deposit hey, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get that debit card so they can pay you. And it's, and it's pretty quick because it doesn't really take that long <coughs> to move the funds onto the card, go right down to the ATM, use it at the store, get gas with it, whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Awesome, Mike. So, Make a video. That's that's your assignment. That's gonna push you outside of the comfort zone. Take a screenshot. Make a quick video. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're not using this, this is a free service. Service. Uh, it's called Loom. It runs. It's a only Google Chrome plugin, so it works on Chrome. It's free. You can record your screen with the video. Share the screen gives you the link right away you don't need to render it you can share it with people right away you can send it in a broadcast to Weber. you can send it as a text message with the new sms blaster you know what i mean it's called loom it's called loom l o m l o o m yeah. so -O -O -M. i believe yeah i'm looking at it i think it's called loom loom yeah l o o m I'm sorry, useloom.com. That's the actual website. Loom.com? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me share the screen. I'll show you. Check it out. Useloom.com. It's, uh, you see the website right there. Uh, so it's a plugin that's free. You install it in Google. I'm sorry, in, uh, yeah, in Google Chrome. I'm like losing energy. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you install it in what? Oh, in Google Chrome. So you go to, um, gives you this plugin here. Um, where's my freaking Loom? Come on, Alex, think, think. Here we go. Loom. It loads like this. Check this out. I don't know if the camera is going to work because I'm using camera on Zoom already. So then you can select screen recording and camera or just screen only, you know. Start recording. You'll figure this out. So it's super simple. This would and, be better than, than uh, YouTube? Well, YouTube is the platform where you upload videos. This is actually something that you can use to record your screen. And then you can take that video and upload it to YouTube. Oh, you know? that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that basically it's a tool for communicating with, uh, you know, business partners, friends, and family. You can record a quick, uh, you know, video and send it 
for Valentine's. You know what I mean? Like, hey, got a special message for you. Here you go. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you use it for anything you want in life, personal and business, and it's free. So there you go. Enjoy it. So, guys, next Tuesday, I want to hear results with the freaking SMS blasters. I think it's the most du duplicatable and easiest thing for you guys to do, you know. Will it work right away? Probably not. Will it work after five, seven times? Likely. So keep practicing, you know. So anyways, guys, uh, it's been awesome hanging out. You guys are awesome. You're champs. I believe in you. You can do this. And you can help others do the same. Create multiple income streams from home. Why not? So Can I, can I put a plug in? What was that, Mike? Could I, can I put a plug in for my store? I have an online store. Absolutely. I mean, if somebody's interested, why not? Okay, it's, it's Michael's Choice Superstore.net. It's up, up and running. I'll put the. Uh... If you want, you can put it in the chat. So, to answer your question on upgrade, I got uh, whatever it's like 20 bucks. SMN phone leads, uh, and I got the blaster for thirty-three dollars. But then I upgraded it because I can blast five thousand, which costs me like ten bucks a day plus credits. So for like sixty bucks, I can blast uh, five thousand messages, and I'm getting like anywhere from like three hundred to like seven hundred clicks a day. It's crazy. Oh man. Michael's Choice is Superstore.net. Sells uh, electronics, golf equipment, and elephants. I'm, I'm into elephants big time. Awesome. This is the power of the internet. You can monetize your passion. You can do whatever you want. But how do you get there? You build the audience, targeted audience for what they're looking for, and then you basically target them and uh, sell services and products to those audiences. Doesn't matter what it is. People are always looking for something they're passionate about. This is why it's so important for you guys to learn marketing, how to build a list and uh, communicate with the list and build yourself as a authority figure in the marketplace so people follow you no matter what you do online because you provide value and you generally helping people, you know, you know, for free pretty much, you know. So anyway, guys, I got to go. I got to do my business as well. No, thank Good you. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank Bye. you.